Welcome everyone to Kena Animation Tutorials and I'm here doing a tutorial on how to do pyro. Now first you want to open particle illusion now as you as you see you'll get all these group of effects this and lights and water now all these groups doesn't have fireworks so what you want to do is go to your browser go to www dot wondertouch dot com continue to wondertouch Now, when you open it, you want to go to Downloads, Amateur Libraries. Click on 2003. Now, as you see, December have some cool pyros. So you want to go to Particle Illusion 3 Emitters. And search for December 2003. So here it is. I click on it and download it. You want to go to where it's downloaded. Close that. Extract it. And Put it in the desktop f for better. Now, double click on this bar right here. Go to the desktop and click on the emitter. As you see, there is some cool fireworks. You want to go to sparkles with smoke and here you have all these now you want to click on one and click on screen now as you see there it is but it have a lot of smoke so you want to double click on it expand rockets and uncheck smoke click OK as you see smoke is gone now here you wanna just make it a little smaller so you double click fireworks fountain and click on velocity and just put it 110 that's nice and click record now put it wherever you want and let's name it Pyro 1 and save it click OK and OK now when it's done well close that and as you see here is the pyro. You want to open Sony Vegas. Okay, so now go Explorer and get the file you want the pyro to be on so that's it and you want to get the pyro and put it on top so as you see here is the pyro you want to click on event effects and click on sony chroma key click ok 
change the color to a black now as you see it, it has some small black in here so I'll click show mask only you know, remove these and play it and that's nice now what you want to do is move it to a frame where it's shown and click on event pan crop and move it to where you want it and as you see here you want to click, right click, duplicate track, click on event pan crop, and move it, now if you want them to uh, go at the same time, just put them on top of each other, but if you want them to go one by one, you want go to the start move one frame put it here so here it's two one by one put the third one And here is the pyro. And here is the pyro.